Hi, um, this is a, I will show you a short demo of how to use a virtual agent to search through knowledge base articles. Uh, this was supposed to be part of a webinar, but uh, the sign in process wasn't working at that time. So I'm now recording it. Um, so it's using a customer service module uh, where the uh, knowledge base articles are stored and it's using power virtual agents to actually interact with those and in the background it's using a search rows action which is using relevant search on the environment which should be enabled so those are the three prerequisites for this setup let me go to the actual virtual agents So here's the virtual agent. Um, that virtual agent has one custom topic, which is called issues. And that can be triggered by phrases like something is broken or I have an issue. And when I trigger that, it's asking a question and then it's executing an action based on that answer or that response. And that's using that response in a flow, which is this flow, search for a KB article. And then the results of that flow output is put in the KB found text variable and used as a message back to the end user. So in this case, I can say, Then I say I have an issue with my laptop. And hopefully it responds back with the top five of knowledge base articles on the subject of laptops, and it does. Um, this is a table, so it's a title for article and the number of the uh, article and also a link to it. So this is an example of that first one. You can see the title the keywords, description, and also the content. So this is the, the article, which is which it's it's retrieving. Um, so the flow itself, um, obviously you can click on this link to go to navigate to that, that will open this flow. And as you can see, it has a power of virtual agents trigger, which is using that keyword input, which you saw earlier here and it's using that to do a relevant search query so here you you see the search keywords uh it's saying five uh, it's 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 returning five items uh and it's specifically using for within the knowledge article table and then it's sorting based on the the score after that, uh, I'm basically using uh, Markdown to create that uh, table. So this is the header of the table, the title and the number. Notice the carriage return. And then this is the separator. So you can see distinction between uh, the header and the rows. And then in here, we have a parse JSON where we're using the list rows, list of rows of this search row. Uh, response and this is the schema I'm using so it can recognize fields like number and all kinds of other fields like object ID um, the parse JSON is then used as input for the select so we can uh, only re so we could retrieve a select set of fields so in this case title and number which are used here but obviously you can use other fields as well so in here you could use the description as well you just need to map it here and then in the next section uh, we are finishing the uh, the creation of the table by appending every row as a string variable to the string variable so every row has a title value article public number uh, and that number actually is also 
marked down as a hyperlink with this first part, which is the link up until here. And then this is the dynamic part of it, which is different for every record, every knowledge base article. Um, and after that, this whole markdown table variable is used in the KB found output variable. Uh, so that's the, re the return to the power virtual agent, which then is used here in a message, which in effect is this response. So yeah, hopefully it's clear how this works, how this interacts with both our virtual agents and power automate, and obviously the dynamics 365 uh, knowledge base articles table. So hopefully, uh, yeah, you found this useful.